Welcome back. As banks become tighter on their home loan conditions, the rental market appears to be becoming more attractive. But is the buying to rent option a good avenue to take at this time? Banks are becoming increasingly strict on home loan lending rules. The tough economic conditions aren't helping. It's no wonder then that some are resorting to renting instead of buying property. But this does not come cheap. The average rent could cost you anything from 6,000 rent, excluding water and electricity. There's areas that you can actually get cheaper, and there's areas that are more expensive. Obviously, if you go to student accommodation, they would look at like 4,000 for, for a bachelor unit, which some people deem to be a little bit expensive. But if you take in consideration that it's actually two tenants sharing, then it's not that expensive. The demand for rental property currently outstrips supply, and there are not many rental properties to choose from. The low building activity has also contributed to the shortage of stock. Only 7% of total home buying was for buy to let in the third quarter of this year, compared to 8% in the second quarter. But what has been happening is that there's been low levels of building activity relative to the boom years. So in other words, low levels of new property supply growth low levels of buy to let buying so new new le low levels too of not only of of homes to buy but of uh, low levels of homes to rent growth in homes to rent as well and just gradually over the last couple of years your demand has been catching up as new entrants come into the la labor market as the economy grows the buy to let market could be a lucrative investment for home buyers who want to earn an extra income but it could backfire if the buyer does not have good paying tenants. But it's not all doom and gloom. According to FNB Property Barometer, 86% of tenants are in good standing. You've got to make sure you buy the right property in the right area. And then once you've done that, that you manage it correctly. Because a badly managed, managed property will result in bad tenants. You know, if you don't do your credit checks properly and so forth, um, you're going to be in trouble. And if you buy a good property in a good area, it'll grow. You can buy a property for the same price in a bad area, and that won't grow in value. And at the same time as the one in the bad area is not growing, it's giving you bad tenants who can't pay the rent, whereas a good property in a good area, you tend to get a better class of tenant, a, a tenant who's prepared to pay the rent and, and, is, and understands the responsibility of it. But a buy-to-rent purchaser needs to bear a few things in mind. The additional costs, such as municipality rates and taxes, as well as levies, that they will have to meet. They could face a serious shortfall if they fail to factor in such costs. I teach people how to do a proper cash flow so there are no surprises. So before you buy the property, you get to know what the exact rental is to, to be, uh, that you can expect and the exact rates and the exact levies and all those costs. And we put them all out so there are no surprises. You, I even factor in a, a, a maintenance factor, you know, uh, sort of a fund for, for maintenance. But the maintenance isn't a big issue. You know, most leases, if you've got a proper lease, uh, it, the lease would specify that the tenant pays for any damage that he causes. Economists estimate that landlords will experience more yields in the buy-to-let market when the interest rate increase. The rental market performs better when the interest rate rises, as many people who are not able to buy property are left with no choice but to rent. Now, Lady Mulifi, SABC News, Johannesburg. We'll take a look at international business news after the...